so beer costs, or more specifically, the cost of goods sold um, are all the cool. Let's look. Everyone loves mix and benchmarks, so let's talk about the as they relate to beer costs. While the numbers below are hypothetical, you can apply the concepts presented to the set of costs in your own product. The first step is to calculate the cost of good, and this is done by costing the vote of a full batch of beer, and that uh, directs materials directly. So the brewing industry is a global business consisting of several dominant multinational companies and many thousands of smaller producers range brew pubs to regional breweries. And the strength of the modern beer is usually around 4% to 6% alcohol by volume, although it may be uh, may vary between 0.5 and 20% with some breweries creating examples of 40% and above. <coughs> beer forms a part of the culture of many nations and is associated with um, social traditions such as beer festivals as well as rich pub culture involving activity, uh, you know, pub crawls. And but ancient Egyptians developed one of the earliest recorded systems of medical treatment um, and that was, a, that was a... So over the past hundred years, knowledge and appraisal of these procedures have been largely based on evidence provided by 12 dogs inscribed on papyrus the so-called medical um, one manuscript is written in Egyptian hieroglyphics where the others are in the uh, hieratic script cursive um, form of uh, this and the papyri date between 1200 or sorry uh, the papyri date between uh, 1820 BCE and 250 ACE although some may be copies of earlier works so most were acquired by modern owners um, private sales during the late 19th and early 20th centuries and perhaps originated of uh, from temple libraries, doctors' houses, or tombs, or you know, town archives. So Egyptian hieroglyphs first um, deciphered by the French Egyptologist J. Campbellian in the earliest early 19th century, and this led to translations of the previously inaccessible literature of ancient. Egypt. So translations, um, uh, translations really of the medical patch deals with a variety of once on the same document. So these compilations co remedies uh, in a, ra a wide range of illnesses and physical conditions, although some discuss the Egyptian no uh, one Edwin Zuda type diagnosis and then the prognosis and then so the translations have led scholars to uh, concluded to me uh, str strand rational treatments based on so-called scientific observation of the pain and the irrational methods that involve right drive over natural presumed to cause some of the disease. Now although this contemporary separation and distinction of approaches would have been uh, meaningless, scholars uh, attributed to predominantly government of rational medicine to the fifth, sorry, the fifth century known example small that presumably once also modern translators have problems with vocabulary of these documents, usually identification of the way the user in other inscriptions, some words and in the elsewhere. Therefore, some of these translations remain. Um, posed by the papyri have persuaded Egyptologists to consider other evidence that um, might verify literary texts, expand our knowledge, assessment of their... And alongside the papyri, there's a wealth of uh, for, uh, by ancient mummified and skeleton remains, plant, animal, and petitioners with heal, surgical instruments, multidisciplinary new um, anat uh, anatomical and radiant extent and, the, um, and rela related to disease in the teeth and in the skeleton. So these techniques have revealed uh, heal. did uh, have and it's noteworthy that there was afforded to the uh, research on two artificial, toe, uh, artificial toes associated with mummies suggests that in each pro uh, prosthesis was finality in bio uh, uh, than these piece of limb prosthesis. Since the early 20th century, Egypt of an operative dental profession, although the um, medical papyri contains solutions for dental problems, neither literature or skeletal material provide um, <coughs> of professional intervention. Hair and teeth taken from mummies can now be examined using a technique that include um, histology, immunochemistry, enzyme-linked immunosorbent DNA, and, and such diagnostic tools have helped identify diseases in the mummy. It's impossible to amplify and sequence ancient human DNA fragments in the remains of a disease-causing So some diseases were listed in the papyri, but until recently, the therapeutic efficiency of many of those about 2,000 remedies recorded operation the dose administration. Ingredients were sourced within Egypt. Difficulties with translating the names of some of the ingredients meant that the about 30% archaeo botany and uh, phytogeography have been recently been used to reevaluate these prescriptions and then they're their credible identification you know but then also the you know the odd bias uh, so current confirms that 
1820 BCE, the Egyptians prepared uh, drugs, and from 1550 BCE, precise measurements describing each drug. So 50% of the drug sources used by ancient Egyptians remain in use today, although many are now synthesized. Although a first set to estimate the pharmaceuticals of these remedies have shown 64% are therapy um, effect at that, and the, all the uh, treatments still relied on the power of magic, most were based on national um, protocols and standards. Now, analytical scrutiny of seemingly irrational treatments, such as the use of contraceptive and recipe uh, part of a catfish, may ultimately lend to support some of the Egyptians' view effective cure. Analytical techniques, chromatography, mass spectrometry, and liquid chromatography mass spectrometry have yet added another. Uh, uh, they've been used to investigate whether the blue lotus was used as a narcotic or aphrodisiac to examine ring hair and um, to identify the botanical and geographical origins of resins and uh, injuance so that the ancient trade routes of medical and or so archaeological excavation has revealed uh, how some temples had a reputation as a center of healing and uh, the Egypt Egyptologist Francois Dumas identified as a sanatorium, uh, the brick building of excavated in the enclosure of the Temple of Hathor, Dura, air, air water drawn from the temple's sacred to believe to have uh, curative properties, was used to patients. So the sanatorium had a seri uh, series of small dark cells. Patients were prepared for the therapeutic dream when a trance-like state was perfumed among so that the sufferer... Uh, ancient Egypt's valued beer. <clears throat> Maybe we'll get...